belly dance. Your laser vision system will let you learn to belly dance at your own pace. You can study a movement in slow motion or watch it frame by frame. Look at the chapters whenever you want, however you want. Happy belly dancing. My name is Martha. Hello, I'm Tanya. My name is Latifa. Hello, I'm Saida. Belly dancing is a way of giving, of entertaining friends, husbands, or lovers, but there are benefits you receive as well to your body and your spirit. In this chapter, we'll do some warm up exercises. The rib cage circle. Stand straight. Hands on hips, now push left. And forward, and right, and back. As the rib cage moves to these positions, try to make a smooth, continuous circle. Then increase the speed, while your circles become smaller and smoother. The deep knee bend. Your legs are 18 inches apart. Arms straight in front. Your heels are flat on the floor. Drop slowly to a deep bend. As you rise slowly, lift from your chest. The body stretch. Arms high overhead. Inhale deeply through nose, then exhale quickly through mouth. Drop your body, tilting from the hips, and stretch. Massage calves to warm your leg tendons. Rise slowly, tilting from your hips again to upright position. The back bend. Arms straight in front. Your toes are flat on the ground. With a straight body, bend backwards from your knees, back to your original position. Lean back as far as you can comfortably. Return upright. Your body is straight from the knees up. Time to learn to dance, and a good place to start is with some movements called belody. Belody dancing is a dazzling display of your torso, arms, and head in motion, while your legs and feet do most of the work. Your weight is on both feet, knees slightly bent, straight upper body. This first step is the hip lift. Weight is on one foot. Press ball of the other foot to floor while holding your heel high. First straighten, then relax your leg, and your knee will move in and out. This causes your hip to tilt upward and relax downward. When the knee moves outward, your hip drops down, and when your knee moves in, your hip tilts up. The hip lift circle. When the hip drops, the foot relaxes and slides forward. Now, pivot on the balls of both feet to begin again. Repeat this pattern, and you'll complete a stationary circle by your hip lift moves. The lift step. Step backwards on your right foot to do a left hip lift. You start on your left foot to do a right hip lift. Then just alternate back and forth. You will maximize the hip lift if you push the ball of your foot against the ground and keep your heel high. Allow your hip to drop as that leg relaxes. Then step back with opposite leg 
and repeat. The side to side sway. Shift your weight to one side and push that hip outward. Then alternate sides. Roll the foot that bears the weight from heel to toe. Then shift to the other foot and repeat the movement. This foot and leg action will cause your hips to pivot from back to front. Remember to keep your weight under the hip in motion until the pivot is complete and the step pattern changes to the other side of the body. The crossover. Step forward diagonally onto right foot. Extend and touch with left. Pivot left hip back to front. Step onto left, touch right. Pivot right hip to front. Step with toes pointed forward and pivot the foot at the same time that you pivot your hip. In this step, the weight of the body is always on the leg opposite the hip in motion. Individual steps like these become a complete performance only when put into a dance pattern. That's what we'll demonstrate in this part of each chapter. Here's the first dance pattern, beginning with a hip lift circle. Now step back and repeat four lift steps. Step to the side and do four side-to-side -side sways. Begin with a weight shift diagonally forward across body and do four crossover steps. Then repeat this entire dance pattern. The most exciting and sexy part of the dance is the shimmy. Even though it looks so hard to do, the shimmy is easy to learn. Relax, let go, and shimmy. Shaking all over will relax your muscles, and then you'll be ready to shimmy. Again, the hip movement is caused by your legs and feet. This one is the piston shimmy. Shift your weight evenly from one foot to the other. Your knees are moving in and out like pistons. The tempo increases and the steps become smaller and more compact. And when the hip movement is fast and compact enough, it becomes a shimmy. Step in place. First, shimmy. Then shift your weight to one side and lift your free foot in place. Now alternate side to side. To travel ahead, your free foot steps forward. And to travel back, step backwards. The shoulder shimmy. Arms out to the side, swing one shoulder forward, then swing it back. Now alternate, left and right. Move faster until both shoulders develop a compact motion. When the movement is fast and compact enough, you're doing a shimmy. And now the dance pattern. First, eight counts of the piston shimmy. Eight counts traveling forward. And five, six, seven, eight. And back. Five, six, seven, eight. Shoulder shimmy. Two counts forward, two back. Shoulder shimmy and sidestep for eight counts. And the other way. Three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Piston shimmy, four counts. Four count shoulder shimmy. Turn clockwise and repeat combination. Continue quarter turns and always keep eye contact with audience. Complete the circle and shoulder shimmy. Two counts front, two back, two front, two back. There's a way to add a special spark to the moves and rhythms of your belly dance. It's the use of these finger symbols. They're called zills, and you play them in a pattern to the beat of the music as you dance. With practice, the use of the zills can be as easy as snapping your fingers. To teach you the rhythm of the zills, we will use a numbering system. The strong beat comes on the odd number, and the weaker hand hits the zill on the even number. Your strong hand right or left, and your weaker hand. So the number three would sound like. For melody, we can use a pattern of three, one, three, one, three. Or three, five, five. Or three, one, three, five. Another rhythm uses four consecutive threes. It also uses three, three, seven. For bolero, try one, three, 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 one. And for the Karshalama, use one, three, 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 one, one. There are a variety of zill patterns for the different rhythmic sections of the dance. In the following still frames, we offer a series of numbered charts to practice with. Melody moves are earthy and exciting, so let's learn some new steps. The pivot turn. Wait on one foot, turn by pushing with the other foot. The pivoting foot turns your body. As you pick up speed, you'll turn with fewer pivots and fewer pushes. Now, reverse direction. Wait on one foot, pivot with the other. The hip circle. Hip out, rotate back, side, forward. Then smooth these moves into a continuous circle and end with an accent. Now step sideways and punctuate the end of the pattern by touching your wrist to hip. Now repeat the pattern to the other side. Paisley turn, a single turn in three steps. A hip lift, rock, front, back, front, back. Then turn the other way. 
another hip lift, and rock, back, front, back. Climbing the stairs, swing hip front, and three hip drops moving back. And again, one, two, three, four. Now shift weight and repeat with your other hip. And two, three, four. The grapevine. Back on foot, side, cross, touch. And one, two, three, touch. Now pivot back and cross and touch. And one, two, three, touch. And one, two, three, touch. One, two, three, touch. And now the dance pattern. Eight push turn steps. Five, six, seven, eight. Other side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Side step. Four hip circles and a hip accent on the fourth step. Repeat this pattern the other direction. And one, two, three, four. Paisley turn and bounce and rock, front, back, front, back. And other way and bounce and rock, one, two, three, four. Now two climbing stairs, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now other hip. And one, two, three, four. Four push turn steps, hands behind hips. The grapevine. Back on foot, two, three, touch. And one, two, three, touch. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Finally, do seven push turn steps. And pose. dancing is not only on your hips and torso, but the flow of movements extend to your arms, hands, your neck, head, and the sensuous moves of your eyes. These gestures reflect your special moods and personality. The Thousand Petal Lotus. Hands touching at wrists, palms facing out, now rotate. Your top palm always faces out. Repeat, increasing both speed and smoothness. Now, your motion becomes one continuous flow. The front arm cross involves your arms, elbows, wrists, and hands. The elbows lead the arms in and out. The arms and elbows are slightly curved. The hands bend in as the arms go out, 
and bend out as the arms go in. The wrists lead the flow of the hands. The back bend. Keep back straight and bend using the leg muscles. Continue the same hand and arm movements. Now, dip into the honey jar. First, loosen wrists. Then push with palms curved and the relaxed middle finger dips from a make-believe honey jar. Bring your arms in and continue dipping from your honey jar. Then move your hands into different positions. Whatever else you may be doing with the rest of your body, keep the hand movement continuous and graceful, like the flight of a bird. The head slide. With your fingertips, find the curve of your jawbone. Fingers an inch out, push your head back and forth, keeping your face straight front. Don't shake your head as if to say, no, no. And if you like, try some left and right eye movements as grace notes. Curves from me to you. Flowing hands ripple over curves of breasts and hips and out to the audience. Then frame your face for a head slide. Changing the speed as you dance allows you to explore your body movements to the fullest extent. While quick moves add drama and intensity, the slower movements give you time for larger, more graceful gestures. The first slow move is the figure eight, front to back. Shift your weight to one side, push your hip out, and form a semicircle from front to back. Then shift weight to your other side and do another semicircle. Always pivot on the heel under the moving hip. And the weight is always under the hip in motion. In these movements, as you master the proper feet positions and hip directions, your hip should move smoothly to accompany the flow of the slow music. The figure eight back to front. Hip now out back. Semicircle back to front. Then shift your other hip into a back to front semicircle. In this case, the weight is pivoted on the ball of the foot instead of the heel. In both versions of the figure eight, the hips rotate fluidly and you should feel the weight shift from left to right and back again throughout your whole body. The Maya, shift weight left, lift right hip, push it outward. Change weight from left to right and repeat the movement with your other hip. In this step, the foot is rolling from toe to heel. Repeat on the other side and feel your hips form a vertical circle from top to down, and top to down, and top to down. The belly roll. Pull lower abdomen in, push upper abdomen out. Now pull in on top, as bottom falls out naturally. The basic pattern here is bottom in, top out, top in, bottom out bottom in, top out. The pelvic rock. Step back, extend pelvis forward and shift weight onto other foot. Shift weight back again. Tuck pelvis under and pull from small of back. Pelvis now relaxes. In this step, 
pushed down as well as forward with the pelvis. Then push the pelvis down as well as back. Then relax. The forward arch of your body is held throughout the front movement, but the back body arch comes only in the second half of the backward motion. The weight shift front and back is done by pushing off on the ball of the weight-bearing foot. The rib cage circle. Imagine a clock face profile, now lift up to 10 o'clock. Now down to three o'clock, down to six, and up again to 10. The rib cage, isolated now and looked at in profile, completes a vertical clockwise circle. Now, the front to back sway. First, the pelvis is extended back. Then, the body weight shifts forward and the rib cage moves forward. Now, pelvis tucks under and the rib cage moves back for a backward leaning body line. As pelvis swings back, rib cage rotates to forward position. Now repeat as a smooth, continuous movement. The footwork here is precisely the same as in the pelvic rock combination. The front to back sway is really a combination of the pelvic rock and the rib cage circle. So now you're synchronizing separate rib and pelvic action. As you learn to blend the two together, you perform an undulating S-curve of the total torso. An elegant, slow move. The focus of this dance pattern is obviously on the torso. Perform four front to back figure eights. Followed by four back to front figure eights. Now do four Maya steps. With body and hip lift position, do four belly rolls. Finally, step back and perform two front to back sways.